So this is my Dell T3610 setup that I showed in the previous videos and as you can see I have a new graphics card and in here this is a NVMe SSD drive and the problem with this motherboard is that it can't boot directly from the NVMe drive over the BIOS so the BIOS hasn't the option to let the thing boot from this SSD so what I have done is I installed Clover on this USB stick here and here's the guide for it I put a link in the description for this this worked perfectly and at the moment this system is running from this little SSD over here so it's not running from this NVMe drive but I show you how to do this now so here's my stick and I put it right here there's an USB plug in on the main board here that's normally in the computer and this is perfect for stuff like this so there it is and now let's restart the computer So now we uh, have to make sure that it boots from the USB drive and the USB drive will then boot the SSD. So let's check that in the BIOS here. So I just disable this and let it boot onto my stick. Apply, exit. Now it reboots. This computer isn't the fastest boot uh, <laughs> computer, but it's all right. So now F1, and now it boots from the USB stick, and then we can select what we want to boot from. So down there you, you saw the timer so this works automatically. You can also put the time down to like one second so it's much faster than now. But now you can choose between different options right here. So I don't exactly know what this all is about but it works with this second option right here. So just enter and now it boots and this should boot now from this NVMe drive so this is pretty nice so let's check that go into the explorer C drive and as you can see it is my one terabyte NVMe drive and before it was that the other drive right here which is um, just a 120 gigabyte SATA SC so I hope you find that interesting this works on just every computer this is just awesome you put the NVMe drive with an adapter into your PCI Express slot and you can boot from this no problem using Clover. I also did this on another computer with an Intel i5 3450 and this works just like here so this is pretty cool and it speeds up the computer a good amount and it's cheap too so one problem this has you always see the 
USB stick in there but what I did I go into the device manager and I just disabled the, the USB drive right here this is this is the USB drive and I disabled it right here so now it, it don't shows up in, in the Explorer and the problem is Windows wants to format the drive because there is a bootable stuff on there and the Explorer says you can't use that you have to format it but when you do this it obviously doesn't work anymore so that's how I did that and now I have a pretty fast computer here thanks for watching